Hope everyone is doing well. I got, was trying to keep everything, remember, we're going left to right. <clears throat> so hope you are well. I'm sending you guys so much love, so many prayers. I'm grateful and humbled that you guys are here, that you are part of my journey. Hi, S. Hamill. happens when I have too many decks. Hi, Trinity. Blessings. Israel. Hi, Artie. Namaste. Empress, Jess. So, somebody here is heartbroken that they're left out in the cold, that they're not single, that I can't be your person. Hi, Natalie. To saw you on my other page. Thank you. Thank you, Trinity. If you guys, if it resonates, um, please follow me at IamLifeCoaching.com LLC. It's my other page where I share my other prophetic messages that the Holy Spirit had me share. Um, someone here could be a Leo, 333 in India. Of course it is. Artie, many blessings, many blessings. What else, Holy Spirit? So somebody sacrificed their awakening. Hi, Joan. They sacrificed their awakening journey because they went towards something that was not destined. Some of them could have gone through another lover. Whoa, this card just fell. Yeah, somebody's very angry. Like I'm feeling like a, argh. someone feels that they have unfinished business with you. Yowzers. Yowzy, yowzy. I have been singing all day. My little inner child. Hi, Ada, Brandon. Um, this, there's a lot of high vibrational energy coming for this. Um, expect miracles. Is a, It's a lunar eclipse and we have a full moon Monday. So there's a lot of heightened energy. Fear is the opposite of love. So my inner child is, she's here. She's ready to go. Somebody here has a lot of stress and anxiety that um, I keep hearing that. I don't know if it's a song that I can't be your man. Karmics, be man at yourself. Karmics and work on healing. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, somebody went the wrong way. They risked, didn't we almost have it all? They risked it all and went the wrong way. Holy Spirit, the same. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Oh, I love these little cards. They're so happy. Ask for help. Ask your angels for help. Excited about your new journey. Yes. So, um, I got so much. Are you guys getting a lot of downloads? Because... The downloads, I write them down, but sometimes God returns, everything they did backfires, God returns it all to sender. It is forbidden, oopsies. It's forbidden to do this on anointed ones. It's different from my phone camera to this camera. So God's returning what a water sign did to you. And Holy Spirit, what is their overall? Move my Bible over here. What is their overall energy? So somebody is unchanged and under pressure. I'm under a lot of pressure. Please understand. I am who I am. I'm not who you want me to be. I'm not going to change. Don't go changing. Somebody chose lust, a player. Someone's been wanting to call you. They see you now as true love, or some of you just started moving towards true love. Hi, Diamond. Okay. I've got a lot of decks. You are part of healing Mother Earth. Oh, sorry about the glare. Your angels, some of you could have received a message from the angel of the Lord that you guys are healers, that you are here to heal the earth. So 
somebody missed the message. 1111 came in reverse. That they too were supposed to be healers, Holy Spirit. You unplugged from the mass consciousness. That's why you healed. That's why, oh, I just got chills. You are like so connected. You're plugged into the higher realms. Hi, Christopher. Thank you. Yeah, someone here didn't get initiated. Yowzers. As my father loves me, I also love you. You are in my heart always. I have loved you with everlasting love. And see, somebody rejected God's work. So somebody here, God prophesies, we're going back to Jonah. God prophesies over someone to do God's work, but somebody is refusing. They refuse to do God's work. That makes sense with the vision the Holy Spirit showed me. Argumentative. Somebody here is never wrong. They're wanting to send some kind of text or message. And learning the transcendent nature of service. Martyr. And somebody here turns a lyric gift to negative or destructive effort. So somebody here could be, what is those, using negative incantations all day long? Yeah, this is an aristocrat. Somebody tried to keep something top secret, hiding it. That's what brought them down the rabbit hole. Somebody here is very toxic. Okay, let's clear our space. So if you want to close your eyes, take a deep inhale. Breathing in the breath of God. Dropping in your heart space, calling forward your ascended masters, your spirit guides, and the angels. We are the violet flame. We are a party God's desire. Holy Spirit, we ask that you purify each cell, each tissue, each internal organ with the light of God. Calling in the holy angels. Archangel Raphael for healing. Archangel Michael shielding us, clearing us, putting us in the pillar of God's light. To the west, we evoke Archangel Gabriel, spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, and spiritual heart. To the north, we evoke Archangel Uriel, commanding forth your divine light and grace. Archangel Sandifin from below. And Archangel Metatron brings us the Christ consciousness, the God self. Archangel Michael, we ask that you vacuum away negative energy, negative thoughts, that you transmute our aura, St. Germain, with the violet flame. We are the violet flame. We are a party of God's desire. Holy Spirit, we ask that you bring forth the ring of fire for protection. We ask that you walk before us as a teacher and a friend, teaching us discernment with the righteous and the wicked. Just beginning to feel your Son and Master, Spirit, Guides, and Angels breathing in your heart. Lord Jesus, we ask that you bring truth to all lies. Holy Spirit, we ask that you bring healing and light to all darkness. We declare this our sacred space as above as below. Holy Spirit, we pray for world leaders that they may hear the voice of God, that they may soften their hearts. We pray for one who is being persecuted, who needs a home, shelter, car, food, a job, anyone struggling with health and addictions. May you lead us away from temptation and a deliverance from evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take a deep inhale in your heart. Welcome back. Yay. Thank you, everyone. I'm humbled you guys are here. I'm grateful. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your donations, your support. Oh, thank you. The graphic in the deck is very nice. This is 
one of them is a couple of them are my, are my decks. I think you're talking about the Lightworkers deck. This is Lightworker Oracle. Yeah, it's a beautiful deck. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, Holy Spirit, where you would like to start. Greetings, Shamika. Thank you. So somebody didn't have... Somebody thought it was too hard to stay around. They didn't see you as true love. So when it, when things got really tough between you both, somebody bailed out. Oh, let me tell you what my vision was. You were God's gift. Mm, somebody could have given you something. So somebody could have given you a ring, a gift for your house. Somebody could have given you a house. Someone gave you something because somebody, that's their love language is what I'm hearing. This is somebody that moves secretly. They didn't tell you the truth behind what this gift was. Whisper, why is gift here? My script. Wow. I know. I still use the word wow. So your soul contract mandated for them to give you some kind of gift to return a gift. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract. This person knew you were a gift. Ooh, I got full blown chills right now. This person knew that they had a soul contract with you and that you were a gift from God. However, someone here got very greedy and they wanted to control you. They wanted to control an earth angel, a star seed. Somebody here is not happy with the other. These are in reverse. It's coming in as an unrequited love. So this person pretends to be happy with the other person. It could have. I'm hearing someone say, I wish I would have gone slower with you. I wish I would have known who you really are. Thank you. You opened the door and you freed yourself. So God could have said, it's time for you to keep moving. Um, I just did a post about Earth Angel. Your mission is over. It's time for you to move on. You were divinely guided to move on because somebody here didn't want to change. I am who I am, not who you want me to be. I'm not going to change. This person doesn't want to change. So they just, oh. this person was very hot and cold. They're your secret admirer. There's no reconciliation. There's no new beginning because this person compromised. This person thought that they could have choices. I'm hearing they thought that they could put you on the back burner. Nothing solid. This person even broke your friendship. They can't manifest. Whatever they manifested in the past, they can't even hold on to it anymore. You have a new perspective as to who this exactly is. You're not waiting. You know this person doesn't have regret. And I feel like the one who's running is you guys. But they still want to come in and chase you. Somebody here could have had a child in your separation or somebody here was very childish. Anything else? I now this is somebody that you're not communicating with. So this person could be conflicted 
they could be calling you from blocked numbers. This person is very conflicted, whether I see somebody picking up the phone or like trying to text you, but not being, not being able to, I'm feeling broken and I can't stop these raising thoughts. Someone is in, I just, if you go to my, I am live coaching LLC, it talks about Holy Spirit gave me the message of self-sabotaging arrows, how somebody needs to control their thoughts. Okay, let's see. Let me tell you what I received. Motorcycle ministry. I'm sending prayers. Okay, so this is what I received. All the karmics knew but you needing a sacrificial lamb. And I was shook. I know, I know we've talked about being shook. I was so shook. I couldn't even believe this came in. I mean, I can. So you represent strength, courage, confidence. A lot of you are born leaders. A lot of you could have started your own business. You have emotional balance. So it brought you strength, wisdom, and support. What the Holy Spirit showed me next, I literally like almost, I'm so shooken. Like this is all coming back to me now. Oh, I got chills. Holy Spirit showed me Revelations 17. So Babylon and the beast. I saw the woman who was drunk with the blood of God's holy people and the blood of those who bore the testimony of Jesus. There was somebody that was, and I heard an energy say, bring me the blood of the chosen. Bring me the blood of the prophets. For some of you, they have been hunting you down. They've been hunting light workers down. And then the Holy Spirit showed me <clears throat> Jungle Book. So for some of you, it's your family. The story of Jungle Book is the father abandoned the son because the father was unalived. The boy then had to raise himself with the pack of wolves. Some of you, you got placed in a pack of wolves family. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody here has been doing sacrificing. They tried to sacrifice the lamb because you follow Jesus. And for some of you, your family was involved. Then the whole, because the Holy Spirit whispered the blood of the covenant, which the blood of the covenant is your family. And it's also some of you choosing who is part of your soul tribe. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The third angel poured out his bowl of the rivers and sprang of waters, and they became blood. For they have shed the blood of your saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink as they deserve. And I heard the altar respond, Yes, Lord, Almighty, true, and just you are your judgments. So all the karmics knew. This is a collective reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates. Holy Spirit said all the karmics knew that you were the sacrificial lamb because you're Judas, your Jezebel was following the devil and you were following God is what the Holy Spirit showed me. 22, 22. Some of you are awakening up to your gifts. Some of you are in shock. Then the Holy Spirit showed me the jungle book comes in. Because I got, if you're new to my channel, welcome and welcome to our soul tribe. I get dropped into karmic situations as an outsider, but I'm still feeling like my blood, like my heart was like this morning. So I was in a house and someone's name could be bear. I saw a bear giving birth and I was there protecting the, the baby cub. 
all of a sudden the windows opened and there was a bear trying to get in, like violently shaking the windows, trying to get in, trying to get after this, this baby cub. This dark bear opened the door and was grabbing this baby cub and Holy Spirit guided me to push. I started praying. Somehow I pushed this dark bear out and the door shut. That's when the Holy Spirit brought me to Jungle Book, brought me to Revelations, brought the whole thing. I got a full blown picture. For some of you, you've been getting pieces, little pieces of what's been happening in your life. But today, this morning, the Holy Spirit showed me all the karmics knew that your person sacrificed you. You were the sacrificial lamb because you follow Jesus. You may even talk about Jesus. You may share the word of Jesus. You may teach people about Jesus. And that's why they chose you as a sacrificial lamb. I was devastated. I, I don't even know what part was more devastating. Part of it was probably because it was your family. Some of you, you're blindsided because it's your family. So you are somebody that sees 1111. You see the angel numbers. Somebody here is not in God's grace. This came in reverse. Somebody here is not devoted to God. And this is a distorted masculine. This is somebody that did not want to open up and activate. So this distorted masculine misuse their divine talents, misuse their power. This distorted masculine comes in as a dark angel. So someone here could be 30, 39, 10. In this lifetime, somebody was supposed to close out this cycle, this karmic cycle, but this fallen angel refused. Someone's life path could be on life path 20. They didn't trust in God's plan. This person is ungrounded. Didn't we say they had to clear karma? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Karmic clearing. This person, this is all I understand now. God brought this fallen dark angel back to clear karma, but this person refused. This person immediately went to the dark side. They are not in harmony. They lost their family of light and they are not being of spiritual service. Orbs are light. They're not with them anymore. This is a past life. This person in this lifetime was supposed to get a past life activation so that they can clear the karma. But they didn't. Wow, they didn't get activated. You are an earth angel. Your Akashic record, if we were to open up your Akashic record right now, it would show that you're an earth angel, that you are here to heal Mother Earth. Somebody missed a heart chakra activation and you unplugged from the mass consciousness. See how... You're tapped into the higher realms. This person didn't get initiated by error. So they're too much in their headspace. They're not connected. You're in Ascension rainbow body. You have sacred wisdom. And this person rejected their spiritual decree. You alchemize yourself. Were we talking about alchemy here or am I members only? You are a true alchemist. Meaning that whatever they kept bringing to you, you kept all coming. Oh, I'm getting full blown chills. The arrows by day that they were sending, you kept alchemizing it and surrendering it to God. That's how you activated. Somebody here is a healer, but didn't activate as a healer. They didn't want to walk through. Somebody could have even rejected Wow. Somebody rejected master healing from Archangel Raphael. 
they rejected the golden light, which is the Christ consciousness, the gold. Oh, I just got chills. They didn't get the second way of wisdom. And they could have even rejected their soul child, their soul children or their inner child. You're in the wisdom of the divine feminine. So your crown chakra is wide open. You've activated your Merkaba. If you guys, if you're not activating your Merkaba, please activate your Merkaba for spiritual protection. You can call in. I don't have my Mark Angel Metatron, Archangel Metatron. You are a star child and you have the key of light. See, God sent you as the holy key of light, the child of God, God's holy people. You have this key within you and you accept it. So you're done going the dark night of the soul. Somebody didn't hold on to their light. Third way, they're, someone's sacral chakra solar plexus is blocked. They didn't have a paradigm shift. You guys, please don't make fun of anybody. Don't go after anybody because I will have to block you. There's no initiation by water or fire cosmic healer with the Christ consciousness. The Lord wanted to heal. So the Lord's been going to people. You're going to see, we've talked about this a year or two years ago. The Lord's been, people have been having visions of the Christ consciousness of the Lord. This person rejected the Lord. Cosmic heart, the sacred heart of Jesus. That's how we connect is through our heart. You're present in the internal now. Somebody was doing, oh, I got chills, horrible spells, rituals. And you still stayed in your power, in love. Somebody here, they threw it all away to try to take you down. Love is the highest of all, yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, self-sabotage arrows to yourself. Somebody here kept self-sabotaging themselves with, with their own thoughts. In Jesus' name, my Messiah returned. You understand that the Messiah returns. God, may your favor, blessings, and graciousness be upon your people. You have been praying for God's people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please have mercy. Bless us, O Lord, our God. God, may your will be done. So the reason you're allowed to move forward, I've got full-blown chills, is because you're, you keep surrendering your will to the Lord's will. And the Lord knows where he needs us. You have Father's unspeakable love. Oh, I got chills. You not only have it, you not only anchored it, but you're sharing Father's love with the universe. Like my hands, I got full-blown chills right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All the karmics knew but you needing the sacrificial lamb. So... The devil had been throwing whispers. I need the sacrificial lamb. I need the sacrificial lamb. And this dark angel came after you. For some of you, they used your family, your friends, ex-lovers. But see, in Revelations, in the end, the Lord will come back and he will conquer them all. People don't know what they're going up against. They are in crisis mode. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. God may perform his greatest miracle in his will, not yours. Somebody here didn't want to surrender their will, but you surrendered your will. 
bored out of the karmic, they ain't you. This person got bored with people. They're in denial. See, plot twist, God is returning arrows. So if not to keep throwing over my other my other page, but the Holy Spirit, I'm just to share what happened in meditation this morning. The Holy Spirit showed me arrows flying by day this morning. And I started praying. So I dropped to my knees and I was in prayer. When I called in on Father, I kept praying, praying, praying. I'm like, Jesus, what's happening? All of a sudden, an arrow just came at me. And I said, immediately, I said, God, may it be your will and not my will. And immediately, that arrow went up and God took it. And I'm getting full-blown chills again right now. When I asked Jesus, I couldn't see Jesus because the arrows were just flying and flying. And I said, Jesus, 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 be with us. I saw Jesus and my heart just sank. Jesus was covered in arrows because Jesus has been absorbing those arrows that have been flying by day. When I saw somebody covered in arrows, I said, why can't we help this person? This person's self-sabotaging thoughts, they're sending themselves arrows. So that's why we have to keep our thoughts pure. We have to keep our thoughts on the Lord and not sit in fear. I don't want to talk too much about that. If you want to go to my I Am Life Coaching, blood of the covenant, chosen bonds, more significantly of family, water of the womb. So what's happening is some of you, this is your family. I heard the Holy Spirit whisper blood of the covenant. You guys can go Google it. Sadly, for some of you, your family turned against you. And that's why, for some of you, you've been having a really hard time. So you have celebrations coming. You have communication coming. Good news. Somebody here didn't heal. They didn't release their burdens. Someone here is still blinded. This is... This is like Dante's Inferno energy. You're moving towards your new beginning. And this fallen angel, they have been doing this. So for some of you, <clears throat> it's like a witch warlock. I don't know what they're called. Dark witch, dark masculine. <clears throat> They've been working against you, but God is returning arrows. You healed. You're in white. You're in this purity energy. So you have an emperor here. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, tell us about this emperor. You have a new emperor that is coming in stable, that is being illuminated. This person, there is someone who's doing their work, who wants to come towards you. Two of Cups, a higher vibrating soulmate, ordained by God. Somebody here told a lot of lies. And no matter what you do, guys, the reason I've been asking the Holy Spirit why some of us keep getting the same messages over and over again, some of you still are taking them back. Some of you are mirroring these fallen angels. Some of you don't understand why your life is in chaos. This isn't everybody's. Somebody here had a lot of addictions of lust. They weren't able to communicate. They didn't give you an offer. So you had victory because you walked away. This person rejected you out of greed. And you are the empress. Energy is fluid, so take how it resonates. Someone feels like they have unfinished business with you, but they are unhealed. You kept, for some of you, you kept overgiving to this person. You stayed in the purity and the innocence of your own inner child. You wanted so desperately to heal and to help this person. And this person just bamboozled you. They can't move on. They can't let go. 
They didn't do their inner work. And somebody just wanted power over you. Let's see if I can get that card. So this person will end up losing their blessings. They will lose everything. Somebody here didn't set very strong and healthy boundaries. And someone here is heartbroken that you walked away. You're moving towards something that is more passionate. Somebody here thought that they could control you with moon magic, a knight of cups. They can't hold on to you. Your strength come. Oh, snap. Do you see this bear? Did you guys, did you guys hear me from the beginning about how the Holy Spirit gave me the vision of a bear? The bear is a demon. That demon that was trying to come in was that fallen angel. I just got chills again. You tamed the bear. And do you see that you're only holding on by a string and an apple? Because you had the strength to follow God. You received communication from God, whether it was a vision, a dream, something told you to leave. Oh, So this queen of pentacles, this person went to somebody just as vindictive as they are. A queen of cups in reverse is somebody that doesn't love, is very emotionally unavailable, emotionally out of balance. So this person went towards someone that is not a happy ever after. And you have an ace of cups because you learn to love yourself. You learn to put God first no matter what. Oh, so somebody kept comparing you. Someone has some kind of evidence, some kind of receipts. Holy Spirit. See, someone can't play games with you anymore. You are somebody that sees past the veil. This person chose a groupie. As light beings, as anointed ones, we're supposed to be leaders. We're supposed to lead others to God's truth. Lead others back to God. This person was a groupie following others. Someone here is angry that they're in marriage counseling with a distorted feminine. Still in denial. So either your person has a secret lover or their person has a secret lover and somebody's trying to keep it on the down low. Anything else? Betrayed. See, if this person did this to you, they are getting betrayed. They got betrayed with broken trust. Somebody was trying to do kitchen magic, check in bank records. Let these fall over here. Stuck in a relationship with fake friends. Running low on funds. This person chose lust. Someone here could be staying in a hotel. This person doesn't know who you are, so you block this person. This person could have cheated on you. Trying to text. Somebody here feels very foolish. Someone feels foolish because God brought in a plot twist. The plot twist is someone can't move on. God called judgment. It's like speechless. Anything else, Holy Spirit? So someone wants to separate themselves. Someone needs to get a job. Someone could be going through a divorce. 
the karmic here. Somebody's karmic. What is it called? A, a lady of the evening. They're finding out that somebody is a liar, selfish, moody, childish, and petty. And for some of you, this person married or cheated on them or you with a co-worker. That's not for everybody. Children here are involved. These cards are stuck. So somebody didn't tell you that they had children. Somebody didn't confess about a hidden child. Someone can't even strategize that they're single. Someone was trying to pretend and strategize they're single. They can't even strategize anymore. Someone is at a breaking point arguing. They went the wrong way. The plot twist was that your intuition, God sent you with your intuition and your gifts so that you could speak the truth. Because somebody here has been doing this to a lot of people. God brought you as divine justice. Because with God, all is possible. Oh, it got chills. As my father loves me, I also love you. You are in my heart always. I have loved you with everlasting love. Someone, plot twist, you are the karma. You are the walking karma. Someone didn't even see it coming. Because with God, all is possible. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ask your angels for a sign. Always, no matter who you go to for a reading, please go back to God and ask God for discernment if this was your message. Not every message is going to be your message. You are not so much responsible for what you attract, but what you entertain. This person was entertaining ungodly people. You are both not on the pay, on the same page. Somebody here is not in universal put universal flow oneness universal flow with god they can't go where you're going anything else Holy Spirit? plot twist god returns to center touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm all backfires insta karma for them That's why somebody is shook. Somebody is shook that they can't get you. They can't get to you. Someone here is doing secret rituals. Their secret rituals are not working. An aristocrat. Message Holy Spirit, please. See, somebody got married and is in an abusive relationship. And I'm sending prayers. Be still and know I am God. Limiting beliefs. You know the facts. You're attracting God things. Know your enemy. You know who your enemy is. You maybe didn't have discernment in the beginning, but you got discernment now. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Destiny is calling you. It depends on the choices you made. And you are a chosen one. Holy love. Someone here could be from Chicago. Someone doesn't know if they're telling the lie or the truth. Because somebody here doing things to heal and numb. Dating a new person without being over the ex. This person is used to dating rebounds. Now they're stuck in a marriage and they're sour, glutton for punishment. This person feels isolated. So somebody here spilled the tea. Oh, somebody here is going to jail and somebody wants you to save them. But see, this is somebody who tried to trap you. A dragonfly represents an earth angel, a healer. They tried to trap you because of their outdated beliefs. And now they're going through the tower because you know the T. You know exactly what's going on. And if you don't, keep praying to God. Have God show you. Oh. 
ask, write God a letter and say, God, please reveal to me the truth. Please show me what I can't see. Somebody here does not love Jesus. On this channel, we love Jesus. We heal with Jesus. Somebody here is a water sign. Anything else, Holy Spirit? You know why this person can't come back to you? I eloped with the karmic and they're binded. They will be broke, bankrupt, spent all their money. This karmic is going to spend all their money. Police, somebody here needs to stop trafficking. Remember Holy Spirit said, somebody, Holy Spirit showed me in the beginning, someone had a phone and has been trying to send you texts. What are they going to say? I eloped with my karmic. You dodged a bullet, fire sign. Someone here is a water sign. God gives you front row seat to their karma. That's why this person can't come back to you. As soon as they try to come back to you, the karmic's going to explain. Walked away from their healing journey. Somebody here was very childish, tried to do this to you. Raw and vulnerable. Causing havoc. So this could be somebody's karmic mom. No public entrance. Someone married a black widow. Treading water went the wrong way. They are underwater. It is your faith that saves you. Because you have mastered your emotions. FBI report. This person, this distorted masculine kept unhealthy relationships because of their secret rituals. God knew what was happening behind closed doors. That's why somebody here keeps asking, why can't I be with this person? This is why. This is somebody's message. My phone just... Flood watch. You have a brand new chapter. May you stay humbled and walk in God's grace. So somebody here could be an earth sign. Holy Spirit. Any other messages, please? Somebody does mindless activities. Don't take their brokenness personal. You must never go back to the fallen angel. Their intentions are not pure. You were never supposed to see my dark and twisted side. An earth sign. Someone can have an O in their name. Someone will experience a double loss, a grief, and a loss. Sending prayers. Someone here could be struggling with dementia. You open the door to the angelics. Don't settle on the past and lose your blessings from God. Hacker exposed prison time. So, so H-O-K. Can't find my K here. Anything else? I spell? There's the K. This hacker's initials. B-K-H-O. Renewal, passion, and love and relationships. Using their gifts for evil. This person was using their gifts to do rituals on the light beings. Some Someone finds out their father is a teacher of the dark art. So somebody's lineage, they were doing this. Didn't we get somebody needed to clear a past life curse? You are an earth angel. My wife knows about you, a Capricorn. Manipulated you to misuse your power. Divine feminine, I would only return to block your happiness, love, and soul's journey, the karmic masculine. Someone finds out, oh, I needed to come out twice. So somebody's cousin is involved in all this. You chose the twin flame journey as ascension, not being able to level up. 
no new beginning. Did we do this deck? Someone is in Masons Anonymous. So somebody's in, I don't, is that a group, a society? They gambled it all away. Someone's lineage was to take down anointed chosen ones to do rituals on them. Holy Spirit just showed me. So something significant about Thanksgiving, a birthday. Thanksgiving. You've mastered your emotions by loving you, frog or prince. This person struggles loving themselves. Holy Spirit. This person tried to bait light beings because they were going after your royal blood. They attempted to lure you away from the protection of God by sinning. Somebody was trying to lure you to sin, to bait you. In three days, under his wings shalt thy trust. Trust means you don't entertain fear. Holy Spirit, what happens in three days? Well, apparently a lot. Love, faith, hope, meaning, and purpose is how we heal with God all is possible. So somebody could be healing in three days. Palm Sunday. Be careful when entertaining strangers. Many have earth angel earth angel wings. So someone is going in three days, whoever is going to be doing dark magic. When you do this dark magic, it'll curse your bloodline. I wouldn't do it. In three days time, you're going to be stressed this dark magic on an anointed chosen one. It's not going to work. You're going to curse your own bloodline. You teach people to seek the Lord. Release your pride. Surrender your will to God's will. Pray for courage to keep moving forward to face your fears. And someone here is going to be booking a trip. Wow. I didn't mean it to be so long. God's favor is upon you, 144. Their soul needs to be released. And as they still hold the Jezebel spirit or they're with someone that holds the Jezebel spirit. Anything else, Holy Spirit? You freed yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thoughts. You liberated yourself by transmuting it. Express your soul's insight, symbolic language. So a lot of you could be getting light codes, downloads, DNA activations right now. Anything else, I suppose. Passion for a journey of personal empowerment. This came in reverse. Excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. In reverse. Places material constraints consideration security above all empowerment they wanted power over you because you're a light being somebody's lineage did this to light beings to earth angels Holy smokes. this was not a maiden an old gypsy soul this is somebody very corrupt you are a creator so somebody could have been a star-crossed lover. You have Libra in reverse, high roller in reverse. This high roller could have been an Aquarius. This shadow queen comes in very clingy. There's a very intuitive mother here. Anything else, Lois? Someone couldn't communicate because they felt like a wildfire flower. Somebody here, someone could be a dancer numbing themselves. 
couldn't achieve it. This person had chemistry to a femme fatale, an earth sign. They are not your friend. They went to the wrong queen. The king and queen, it's the same energy. All right, let's wrap up. I didn't realize I had you guys on so long. Um, let's do guidance for the divine feminine. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Guidance for the Divine Masculine, Holy Spirit. Same card. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. This came in reverse. Someone needs to say, I love you. These are powerful words. Treasure your loved ones. Somebody here is not in a requited love relationship. All right, Holy Spirit. You have police department, PD, FOB. Someone here could have lost a fob or needs to get a new fob. Hi, Earth Angel. So you have M. Could have Leo. You could be a Leo. You have a Taurus V. Cancer H, Aquarius G, Virgo. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Someone has the letters M or L in their name or initials. Someone could be in the emergency room and I'm sending prayers. Someone could be in real estate. I don't G O O. Goo. Someone has the initial C. There's Casey, HK. You're saying no. PS, PS, I love you. Someone here could pass on. If you saw the movie PS, I love you, the, the husband passes on. F H P R and D A D A D E A D O. All right, guys, that's all I have. I'm sending you guys so much love. Please keep praying for one another. All right, I'm sending you guys blessings. Please pray for one another. I'm praying for you guys. Um, I'm available for private readings. This is a collective reading, so only take what it take what resonates. All right, bye everyone.